Hi you guys, welcome to today's video. We are getting ready for a trip together. I just posted my maintenance vlog where I did my lashes, my brows, my hair, everything. This video is gonna be us actually packing and I wanna show you my travel essentials in this video as well because I got some new stuff that I think would be really good to share. Last time I shared my travel essentials, a lot of you enjoyed the video so I figured I would show you like a few updated things that I uh, bought for this trip specifically and just for you know trips future trips in general I just now went to the tailor to drop off some stuff I went to a new place uh, called Mario's tailor shop is what it's called I believe it's in downtown that is done right now I am headed to so I just posted my maintenance vlog right and like a dummy I dyed my hair right after my nail appointment and my nails turned gray. I wore gloves, but when I was washing my hair and styling it, all the dye is obviously going to stain my nails. So it did stain them like gray. So I'm gonna have to go do that before we get home and get to packing. I have an idea of what outfits I wanna take. So that should make it easier to pack. That way I'm not rushing after I go get my, my nails touched up. Uh, but this trip, if you're just stumbling across this video and you didn't get to watch my last one, I'm going to New York. So this is not like a tropical vacation trip. This is like a like an outfits, street style type of uh, trip. But it's more chill. Also, I think I don't know what I'm getting myself into. To be honest, I was I'm just in charge of the outfits, which I kind of like because it makes things a little bit challenging for me, which I kind of like. So the last time I went to New York was a few years back for New York Fashion Week. That's the only time I've ever been to New York. So I feel like I don't really have a real feel for just like regular New York when it's like not New York Fashion Week. And on top of that, when I went for New York Fashion Week, I went for the winter one. I think it was like February, so it was freezing. But when we're landing, it's supposed to be, I think 79 or 80. Like, Yes, I heard spring in New York, spring and summer in New York is bomb. So I'm excited to be going around this time of the year. On the other side of that though, the last two days I think that we're there is gonna be a little chilly. So I have to pack with that in mind. Like the first few days are gonna be nice and warm and then the last few days are gonna be a little more chilly. I ordered some stuff from Fashion Nova, which y'all, I haven't shopped. I think I said this the last time I shopped there, but I don't really shop there often. However, they're gonna come through every single time when you need something quick. Like, I cannot even lie. The shipping is insane. I ordered stuff yesterday. No, this morning. It was like 12.30 in the morning. Yep. And I ordered stuff and it's gonna get here in the morning tomorrow. Like, that's, it's just convenient. That's the thing with them. So, and they have a lot of obviously like night out stuff and very like trendy, fast fashion pieces so I've ordered a bunch of stuff from them recently and I'm gonna take some stuff from that another thing I have on my list is oh sorry it's dark <laughs> what the little bridge there's hold on there are a few more coming Okay, I, and not a v-neck 
just a low U-shaped long sleeve that's bomb quality. White, gray, black, beige. I would buy them up. I, I would buy them up. I just made it back home. My nails are fixed. Thank goodness. And I now need to tidy up my space. I have stuff all right here. I just bought some stuff that I'm going to show you guys. I have more over here. Uh, and then I have laundry and other things I need to put away before I even start hauling anything because we're not about to do hauls and bring out all types of clothes when I still have laundry to put away. That don't even make no sense. And that's a setup. So I'm going to tidy up just to make a mess again. <laughs> but it's going to be an organized mess because I am going to put all of my outfits that I'm planning on taking in this corner here. And then I have other things that I'm going to pack over there. So this is going to be where all of my hauled stuff is going to go to keep it a little organized. Alright, so I pretty much, hold on, I'm watching which is, videos. I pretty much put all of my laundry away at this point and now I'm kind of going through some of the stuff in my closet and just pulling stuff out that I'm remembering, okay, you need to take this on the trip. For example, I brought out a few pairs of socks that I'm going to take. I have some long ones, some cozy ones, and then just some short ones for sneakers, boots, and then maybe for the airport on the way back or on the way there. I have some other ones that are drying up right now that I'm gonna add in here that I got from Amazon that are kind of similar to the Skims when they're like those slouchy socks. Fragrances, the ones I'm deciding on, uh, I think I'm gonna do these. So of course, one and only Baccarat Rouge. I do have a smaller container that I can put it in, but I don't know if I'm gonna take it in a container or just take this. This thing is like almost to the bottom. I don't get me wrong i love this scent and i love it even more so because my boyfriend's like every time i smell this i think of you because this is a scent i wore when we like first started talking and even then like i wore this scent a lot but now it just sucks because everybody wears this and i feel like everybody smells like this now and i hate that <laughs> so i'm gonna take it just because it is good and it just does not smell like anything else that i have but I just, everybody smells like this now. Then we have Alien Goddess, which I'm also thinking of taking. And then I have my Chloe, Chloe, Chloe. No maid, no mod. <laughs> Y'all know the name, it's right there. But these are the fragrances that I'm taking. And then I have my jewelry box ready to go too. Just as I'm walking around in my apartment, I'm like, oh, I need to remember to take this. And whenever I remember in that moment, I pull it out and I put it on my dresser or somewhere nearby so i don't forget that's kind of like my little packing hack is when it comes to mind just pull it out and bring it out put it somewhere so you don't forget to take it and then of course make a list of all the other things that you know you have to take you can just check it off but as far as jewelry i'm just taking a bunch of gold bracelets necklaces hoops different types of hoops a watch some rings chunky small earrings and then some studs this is my everyday jewelry box and i keep my jewelry in here at all times for the most part and then now that i'm packing i just have it all in one place anyway and this is really my everyday jewelry i have other jewelry holders that have other accessories that i don't really touch those or use those so that's that i'm starting to pull out some clothing as well that's coming to mind so i'm taking this black tube top it's just nice and plain and simple because i feel like this can go with a lot of different stuff i have some pants at the tailor that i might wear with this so i can't really pack this up yet because i want to see how it looks i'm not going to pack up a lot of this stuff yet until i get my stuff from the tailor tomorrow a pair of jeans from zara that i've been loving that are just like really flared out jeans so i have those out some nike sweatpants and then I have black flowy pants that can go with this top here for a night out or with just a tank top or something. An all black outfit like this, I feel like you can really dress up or dress down and wear it a few different ways. So I, a pair of flowy pants is always going to be in my travel bag 
regardless of where I'm going. So, oh, and then I have a tube top from Zara. I'm sure you guys have seen this one like everywhere. It has a zipper on one side, zipper on the other, and it's just a cute tube top. Now, let's do a haul of all this stuff. Let's get into it. I'm not taking this, so I just gotta get. Let's first start with the new travel essential stuff that I just got. I am going to link my previous Travel Essentials video down below so you guys can watch that because I don't want to repeat a lot of the stuff that's in there. But in that video, I have a lot of stuff that I think is like good to have whenever you're traveling pretty much anywhere. I think in that video, I mentioned this makeup case. I'm pretty sure I did. If not, I've mentioned it in other videos before. But this is my everyday makeup case just like my jewelry holder i keep my everyday jewelry in there i also do that with my makeup all of my everyday makeup is typically in here right now right now i have it in some other ones that i thought i was gonna like but it's just a mess this keeps my makeup nice and organized and easy to put back when i'm done as opposed to the one that i currently have which i'll show you let me grab it this is my current one which is really cute it looks cute i also got it from amazon I like that it's clear, I like the color and everything, but it's just a mess. I end up just throwing stuff in here and trying to dig through and trying to find certain things and don't get me wrong, it's cute, but maybe for like makeup brushes or something, not really ideal for everyday makeup because it just looks crazy and it is crazy trying to find specific products in here. So I'm gonna put it back in this one right here because I can put my brushes up here and put my makeup here. However, I need to clean this because it like, you can tell I use this a lot. However, I got a new color and I'm not sure how I feel about it, which is why I haven't put the makeup in here because I don't know if I wanna keep that black one or if I wanna do this one. What do we think? Do we like this better? I just think the marble is a lot or is it cute? Are we like over marble or is it still? I mean, my countertops are marble, but they're very subtle marble. Like you can barely see the gray streaks. This is like OG DIY contact paper days. You know how we used to put marble contact paper on everything? This is giving that vibe. So. I don't know by the time this video goes up i will have already gone on the trip and decided i don't know it looks kind of cute maybe i'll do it for something a little different i had it in my car to return it but i don't know i might i might just keep it anyways the black the black the inside is black just like the other one and it comes with these organizers that you can take out and like adjust to however you want to do it maybe i'll keep it i don't know <laughs> Now that I'm looking at now that I'm looking at it, it's kind of cute. So I might keep that. That's a good travel essential and just everyday essential. If you're like me and you don't like having a huge old makeup collection anymore and you like to have your everyday go to stuff in a small little space without having to have a full on vanity. Um, those come through. So there's that. I'm also I think I mentioned this in that video, too, but I'm going to mention it here. I'm going to use this to weigh my bag once I pack everything up. This, literally you just turn it on, you hang your luggage on here and it weighs it. So you don't show up to the airport and your bag is overweight and you have to end up paying like a lot of money to take all your stuff or the more embarrassing route, which is you have to open up your bag and take out your stuff and everybody's looking at you like, bruh, why didn't you figure this out like before and you don't want to dig through your stuff and like a pair of your underwear falls out or your bra is sticking out or something and you're just kind of like flustered and overwhelmed to avoid that they make these <laughs> you just hang the luggage right here and it weighs it for you must have and then a mirror gosh i every trip i've gone on and i want to do my makeup in front of like a beautiful big window and then there's no mirror. I have to do my makeup in the bathroom, which the bathroom typically has crappy lighting. So handy dandy mirror. Pretty sure I mentioned this in that video too, but we're gonna mention it again because it's a good must have. Does come with a light, to be honest. I don't really use the light, but you can turn it on. I think it's charged. No, it's not charged. I don't remember the last time I used this. 
but you can turn it on and this lights up right here it's not super bright but you know does the job i just like it because i'm able to kind of adjust it and lay it on the table like this and i can do my makeup wherever in the hotel that i want to and when you close it up it's nice and slim so it fits perfectly in any bag that you take my battery's dying let me switch it out i like this setup i didn't even realize i just kind of sat you guys down but i'm liking how this looks i can imagine doing a little q a here i need to do an updated q a anyway another good new travel item that i think i'm gonna use a lot when it comes to travel is this bag that i got from target this is from the brand sonia kashuk and it is this clear bag that has bags inside so this came with three different bags i have all of my stuff in here i keep my stuff in here just like i do my jewelry and just like i do my makeup because sometimes your girl's not home on the weekend she has a little spin the night bag <laughs> so i always keep my toiletries in this bag regardless in travel sizes like all my favorite things all my favorite things are in this little bag so i'm pretty much kind of like halfway packed which is great and just you just never know when you're gonna need you know your toiletries even if you're not traveling so i have in here I just bought some black ones of these why did i not think of having black ones i don't know but i just bought black ones that way my makeup doesn't get all over them and it just blends better with the hair but yeah i just bought some black small headbands and i like taking the, these everywhere because when i'm washing my face when i'm doing my makeup it just makes it easier so my edges don't get back to being curly and it just keeps my hair out of my face course toothbrush i need to get some toothbrush holders uh, i always take a shower cap all the time this is my favorite one i've purchased it over and over and over again i have one in my toiletry bag and then i have one in my bathroom and i like this one specifically because of how big it is it is huge i can have my hair up in a bun and this will still cover all the way around i've just bought some other ones from target new and i thought they were gonna fit because they're from the brand cantu and you know cantu does like all natural hair products no it was i have too much hair to fit in that cap so this one right here is a must have i don't love the design to be honest that's pretty much how i keep my hair from getting wet in the shower that's what i wear of course a brush edge brush the three bags that this came with it came with this one it came with this black one and this other black one so these three bags came all in here love that i love the colors like they're just simple so in each bag i have different things i have all of my hair stuff and my makeup wipes in here so i have a mini hairspray which i need a new one i should write another thing write stuff down as you go because you will forget so every time i go on a trip i go on my notes and i create a list of anything that comes to mind that i'm like i need that i need that i need that and i just check it off once i add it to my bag so i need hairspray i mentioned something earlier that i needed oh right now toothbrush holder oh and i also have a few other travel perfumes i might not take my baccarat rouge 540 because i have my ariana grande cloud in a travel version and this smells exactly like that a little sweeter mm, i don't know i might still take my baccarat who knows and then i have my replica coffee break in here as well i always have some sort of some sort of chapstick because i'm always looking for it right before bed can't go to bed with dry ate it and then i have bobby pins mini hair ties safety pins add safety pins to your travel kit you never know when you're gonna need a safety pin if your dress is too loose or it's too open or something rips please add safety pins to your travel bag to your car bag i have a i don't think i posted on here maybe i or on TikTok. I don't know where I posted my car essentials bag, but I have safety pins in there as well. Extra big hair ties, just like all little hair stuff is in 
this bag. And then I like that this comes with three bags because I'm able to kind of separate things and I know like, okay, this is the hair stuff. This is the body stuff, X, Y, Z, and the third. So in the bigger bag, I have deodorant. And I am putting this all in my check bag, which is why I don't have travel sizes in this stuff. Black Girl Sunscreen. My Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. I have a mini shampoo and conditioner from the Giovanni line. Got these at Whole Foods. I just have it just in case. I'm going to wear my hair like this. I just washed and uh, blow dried it. So I really won't need shampoo or conditioner because I don't wash my hair every day. I wash it like once every five to seven days so i really don't need this but just in case i'm like you know what i want to do a slick bun and i end up wetting my hair razor leave-in conditioner dermalogica daily microfoliant in the mini version i have a few of the oh, these smell so freaking good the way body cleanser i have the regular scent and i have the saint bart scent the saint bart scent is where it's at they had this in a scrub. Remember when I told you about the scrub? Well, they now have it in a body cleanser, a liquid body cleanser. So freaking good. So there's that. And then I also have a mini of my everyday cleanser, which is the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. On this trip and in trips in general, I do not pack my full regimen, skincare routine, serum and eye cream and all that. That stuff is good, but I'm the type of girl that I like to stick to the basics whenever I'm traveling. So that's all I really need, need. And then on this last smaller bag, I have all the fun things, pads, tampons, panty liners. And then I always, 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 I should switch these out and just use my, I have the Summer's Eve single pack ones. I could just put a bunch in here, but I have down there wipes in here as well. In case you gotta freshen up the goods, you gotta be prepared. So that's everything that is in the toilet, my like my toiletry travel bag, and that all fits in here. And then some, like I still have room to fit more stuff if I really wanted to. I'm gonna show you right now. Um, I just. I love that it all fits in here and I like to keep it very low maintenance whenever I go places because then unpacking when you get back is a B-I-T-C-H so that all fits in there and I still have a lot of space to stick in a few more things if I like really really need to but love that it all fits that's that um a few more travel essentials this girl finally 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 got some packing cubes i know like the hype is so real on these and i used to have some and i just haven't gotten them ever since i got rid of the other ones excuse me and so i finally got some because i just everybody's like you just need to have them so we're gonna see if they really make my packing a lot easier the ones that i got came with a laundry bag which i think all of them do it's a big laundry bag to put dirty clothes in there i don't know if i'm gonna take that maybe for like my undergarments i will but not all my dirty clothes is gonna fit in that bag and then it also came with what is this what is this, what is this? Oh, no. I think this came with it as well a bag for shoes which i'm not really gonna need because i bought a few bags here from another brand for my shoes and then these are the packing cubes right here i just bought them in black and i like these because they have a little vent so the clothes isn't you know when you put your clothes all stuffed in one space and it just smells like clothes that's been stuffed up in one space yeah this kind of gives it a little bit of ventilation <laughs> ventilation if you will but yeah and it also is see-through so that when i put my stuff in here i can see the colors and the patterns of what's actually in here and i don't have to open it and be like what's in here what's in here i can just pull it out organize it and i know exactly what's in here just based on what i see through this little clear thing so it comes with a small one a medium a large 
and an extra large. This is a nice gadget that I think everybody should have if you are the type of person that likes to use the screen on the plane to watch movies and shows and stuff. I just got this. You can plug this into, not this part. You take this part off, right? It's called an airfly. So you charge this up before you head on your trip. You pull this off, you plug it into where you would typically plug in your headphone. You know how on a plane you can't really use like Bluetooth? Well, you plug this into where you would normally plug in your headphones and you can connect your AirPods or your Beats or anything Bluetooth that you wanna pop in to this and it gives you the Bluetooth compatibility and you can listen to movies or shows that you're watching on the on the screen on the plane on your AirPods. The last time I went on a trip, I wanted to actually watch a show, which I normally don't. I wanted to watch TV um, or a movie or something and I had my AirPods and it just, it wouldn't work with the screen. So I was like, shoot, I think they had it to where you could use your AirPods, but it just wasn't connecting or wasn't working or something weird. I'm just like, let me, let me just get this. Makes it so much easier. Comes with the little, oh, another thing. The reason I was saying I got this is because it also has a USB-C port at the bottom. So I'm pretty sure you can charge your phone right up in there just in case. Whoever comes up with this stuff, y'all need a raise. I think that's all for travel stuff. I'll mention some runner ups and then we'll, oh, I'm lying, I have this. This is, yeah, this right here's a definite must have if you like to nap on the plane, which I think most people do. This is a flexible neck pillow. So it looks weird, right? But you basically can bend it and use it just like a regular neck pillow like this or you can put it on your back lean this like this if you have a window seat put this against the window and you can lean your head on it like that and get comfy so you're not like smashing your head on the window what other ways can you do this i forgot what other ways i saw people using this i mostly would use it like this just to like sleep like this or put it like this and then like form it against the pillow and like it doesn't move or fall it's memory foam and it has it's almost like a flexi rod but as a travel pillow so very convenient comes in different colors too so i thought this was a uh, kind of fun to have fun but essential because those naps on the plane when you're like bobbing your head to the side not fun um the runner ups i was talking about is a travel straightener so i got this for christmas and yes that way you don't have to carry a big old straightener with you it's a tiny t3 <laughs> the cutest thing and i just again i have this in my weekend bag but at the same time this is great for travel because it's small and i like the fact that it is small because i can touch up my roots which is mainly what i use it for anyway and it just it doesn't take up a whole bunch of space there's nothing more annoying than having to pack your styling tools because they just are bulky and they take up a lot of space so mini strainer please add that and if you want i'm not gonna take this with me but i thought about it and it would be a good idea if you're like super specific and particular about your hair kind of like i am i would recommend taking a silk pillowcase it does not take up any room just fold it up if you want your skin to stay cute and your hair to stay cute on your trip and you want to wake up feeling good silk pillowcase literally is nothing it's going to take up zero room in the bag those are the travel essentials basically right 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 yes all the things recent things i've added to my travel must have now let's get into this haul i'm gonna run through this really quick because i have a lot of stuff and i've been talking y'all ears off we'll do the fashion nova stuff because that's what came in i have another package coming in tomorrow with last minute stuff i'm thinking of taking this black romper and i'm not trying this stuff on obviously because i would be nuts if i did that right now 
but I got this black romper that I'm thinking of taking because the first few days that we're gonna be there, it's gonna be warm. So I think this would be really nice uh, for one of those days or maybe even for a night out. Uh, it's just like a very sheer, low, flowy romper. And it has this little tie string at the waist. Fashion Nova stuff usually sells out quick. So if none of this stuff is in stock, I'm so sorry. But it's not my fault, I promise you. <laughs> Anytime I haul their stuff, I feel like by the time I haul it, their stuff's gone. So yeah. Then I got this. A romper as well but it's more of a sporty casual one i got it in gray too but i'm not going to take the gray i'm just going to take this beigey one so this is a hold on let me turn down the bright in his because it's a little bright in here this is what it looks like it's shorts has drawstrings has pockets and then it's a long sleeve which i think is the perfect balance because it might be a little breezy i don't really know how the weather is out there so having a long sleeve i'm the type of person that as long as my arms are covered i'm not as cold i can have my legs out but as long as my arms are covered i don't feel as cold i don't know why but yeah i just thought this would be nice to just kind of throw on with some sneakers or something for i don't know maybe grabbing coffee or going shopping i'm not sure what we're gonna be up to but i thought this would be a nice versatile outfit these pants are similar to the Nike ones that I'm taking, so I don't know if I want to take the Nike ones or these. Probably the Nike ones because they're a little less flashy, literally. <laughs> so these are the pants I'm talking about. They have like this reflective thing on them. Looking at them, I think I want to go for the more low-key ones because the Nike ones aren't reflective like this. But these are just some comfy, noisy pants that I thought would be cool to add. To my closet these pants i'm seeing these pants everywhere and i'm glad i got them because a lot of girls are posting themselves wearing them and i'm like i just know that these are already sold out or they're going to be sold out because they look so good on and they are these uh really heavy duty cargo pants so they look like this and they are layered at the bottom they're not a super tight jean they have pockets just a very bomb street style pant this with a bodysuit or a crop top with some sneakers or some heels for a night out too i think uh, i i love these pants i love the color just the style it's, it's yeah loving 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 these so those came through i also got another pair of cargo ish pants that are loose at the bottom these come with ties they have pockets at the thigh right here i like the color i don't have pants like this in my collection i bought the infamous amazon cargos i'm too tall for them but i i'm obsessed with the color and the style of these pants here I don't think I'm going to take these, but I just got them because I like them. These are thinner, more loungy feeling. They're more of that noisy material as well. But these are a blue cargo pant. I just thought these were cute in general. Just to wear here at home to grab coffee, uh, you know, with a bodysuit. Again, some sneakers. Just very easy to put together. I went to... I don't know if it was like Foot Locker or something. I'm not sure how I feel about this backpack. I don't think I'm going to take it on the trip. But I do like the backpack for everyday wear. And it's this cute Sherpa bag. This is from Vans. I like it because it's Sherpa. I just, I'm not sure about it, I guess, because of the black. Like this, it's kind of like cheap feeling. Is it cute? Do we like it? And this is a crossbody. It doesn't turn into a backpack, but I'm pretty sure I can find a way to make this a backpack if I really wanted to. But I like it. It's like a little bucket bag. You know, I'm really into bucket bags right now. So let me know if y'all think this is cute to keep or if it's like, eh, it looks kind of like childish. Let me know what you guys think. And you can let me know because even though this video is going to be going up after travel, I'm going to keep this bag until y'all tell me if it's cute or not 
I am indeed going to wear Crocs to the airport. Yes. Yes, I am. I am not ashamed. I love me a Croc moment. So I got these. These were in the junior section. And they're kind of like marbly. Just, I don't know how to describe it. But this is what they look like. I really like them. They're funky. And... That's exactly what I'm looking for for my airport outfit. Just something to throw on. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to wear these with on the way. It's kind of hard to tell because the tag is being really obnoxious. But that's what they look like on. There you go. You can kind of see how they look there. But yeah. Planning on wearing these with just these gray sweatpants. I got these from the men's section at H&M. If you are looking for sweatsuit sets, the women's ones, in my opinion, are not it. Go to the men's section, especially H&M. They have extra small and small and men's. Just a little hack there. <laughs> but yeah, got these. And I like the men's ones because they're usually longer than the women's ones because they figure men are like going to be taller. Yeah, the men's ones are the perfect length for me. So... I got these and I also like, sorry, one more thing. And I also like that the men's ones are not the scrunch at the freaking bottom. Like why are all women's joggers scrunchy at the bottom? And like, I just don't like that look anymore. I want a straighter jogger style and the men's one just always, they're always where it's at. So I got a size small, they fit perfectly. And I got a matching hoodie and an extra small. So I'm planning on wearing just a matching comfy sweat set with my Crocs. That's the vibe. That's going to be the outfit. But wait, I also got the matching shorts from the men's section to wear with a hoodie or with a bodysuit or something. I tried these on. The booty, the little booty was booting. Okay, it looked really good in these shorts now i see why the guys be wearing gray sweatpants <laughs> now i see why <laughs> because y'all get you some of these these look so freaking flattering like they just yeah so these are in a size extra small in men's now i will say these are extremely high-waisted for like us girls but for men, obviously, like, they wear them lower on the waist. But if you want to wear them so that they don't look weird, if, I don't know if that makes sense. But if you wear them at the waist like men do, like, it's going to hit you the bottom part right above the knee. And it's like, I don't know if you're trying to go for that look. For me, I would like a shorter short. I don't want it to look, like, too... You know what I'm trying to say. So I what I did was I just rolled it up at the top and it brought the shorts up. A little bit but also like the waistband wasn't to here you know what i'm saying so y'all better go and get one of these <laughs> oh i just got this uh yale t-shirt from h&m this i want to wear i had an outfit in mind with this that was casual but cute i don't know what pants it was with but i'm basically going to wear this maybe with my hair up in a ponytail or a bun and i'm going to tie it so that it's cropped and wear some cute pants like i said some hoop earrings um and sneakers is what i'm thinking but i can also wear this a little more casual so i got that now these these tops i kind of do want to try on for y'all because you're going to look at these and be like why did you get these but when you see them on they give they really do give and honestly they kind of give vacation like tropical vacation but i don't care like i'm gonna take these because i like the way they look the way i'm thinking of wearing them i think it'll kind of make sense for more of like a city uh trip so it's these tops right here when i look at these tops it kind of gives me like rico suave but i'm kind of into it so <laughs> it looks like this it has a collar and these were in the women's section i know the men's like this is a very trendy right now for men but these were in the women's section which like looking at these you're kind of like eh, i wouldn't really pick it but i'm gonna show you right now what it looks like so i got it in this uh blue or black 
and white stripe and I got it in white okay stay with me so I got size medium in both of these I tried small it fits but not for the look I'm trying to go for let me put it on so you can see put this on it comes with it has buttons on it obviously do not in my opinion if you want to get the look do not button the top one do not button the bottom one button the collar is back here you can wear it one shoulder you can wear both off shoulder this one's a little more preppy i like this i actually might like the striped one a little more but with the hoop earring maybe some black flowy pants or something i just feel like again it adds more of that preppy vibe uh, without it being too like i'm not wearing this me personally but bring it down a little off shoulder now we're talking i got some sleep wear lounge wear sleep wear intimates from h&m they had some cute stuff they had it in black which should have gotten in black also it's cute cami beige with lacy material just a tank and it comes with matching shorts that have lace at the bottom just something cute to wear i was on a hunt for basic tees and i happened to come across some at h&m i really like this one the material of it just spot on not too thick not too thin and i like the scoop neck i've just been on the hunt for just scoop neck plain tops like this and this when i saw it i was like this is exactly what i'm looking for but of course they didn't have it in other colors so i just lucked out with this and got the beige one but love that and i also plus i like that it's not a bodysuit then i also got their plain tees scoop neck tees because i usually get my t-shirts plain ones from amazon essentials amazon basics the amazon brand of clothing but theirs are not scoop necks those are like up to here and sometimes i just i don't want to look too proper too like i want to a little bit okay so this kind of gives that without it being a v-neck because sometimes you don't want the look of a v-neck and then I, they, it came in a set so it also came with black just a basic tee can't go wrong can mix and match oh and i also got this tee which is similar in color to that long sleeve um but this one is a v-neck they didn't have this in just like a u-shape Cut, but I like the color the material everything is just beautiful liked it so much that I got it in a tank crop tank don't have a lot of crop tanks but this one I liked to wear with some sweatpants or something just to like lounge around yeah this was like six dollars this now this is technically lingerie it wasn't like the lingerie undergarment sleepwear section not lingerie but it's like sleepwear but listen i'm wearing it outside yes we are and it is this printed baby doll dress it is like a small baby doll dress printed right it just looks like a silky typical dress but the back is oh you cannot tell because of how this is laid out but it is open low back yeah you can't tell and on it looks really cute here it looks kind of like eh but no this is really nice on so this is going to be like maybe a night out outfit and I, I realized i didn't buy a whole lot of going out at night clothes so i did but it's more i noticed that when i go out for date night sometimes and stuff like i don't dress in dresses a whole lot and i want to a lot more like dresses and skirts and stuff i usually will put on a flowy pant and a tank top or a flowy pant and a corset but i want to start getting more dresses you know showing off the legs a little bit more and just being a little more feminine in that way don't get me wrong i dress very feminine but um, not as much as i want to moving on that's all h m stuff Zara found these heels. I found these heels upon checking out. Like literally, I was at the front of the line and I saw them and I was like, let 
me go get them and then I got back in line. These, I got them, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them or not because I have to see how they actually look with stuff on. Uh, and th I think why I'm hesitant about them is because they look a little bit like wider or ch not chunkier, that's not the right word, like squared or just like a bigger, thicker shoe than a typical heel. I was looking for like a really dainty heel and these look very, very squared off. Just kind of like there's a lot of shoe and it probably doesn't make sense or maybe it does, like looking at them on camera, it just feels like thicker for some reason. It's not like a dainty heel, kind of is, kind of not. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But I like the way they look on and surprisingly, I don't have a thin strappy black pair of heels that is comfortable. I have one pair that is cute, but no. Like I never wore them as a matter of fact, because I ordered those online and it just doesn't doesn't do a thing. This is what the heels look like on. I have my anklet. But you see how there's a lot of shoe around. I'm used to less shoe right here, I guess. But it looks cute, right? And it's comfy. I feel like that's all that matters. And wearing pants, I think, I don't know, I'm kind of like, I think some of y'all understand what I'm saying. It just looks like a lot of <laughs> material is out on this side. Um, so that I'm kind of iffy about. I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna keep them or not because of that. But I got them to try them on with outfits first. Like I wanna try it on with this dress and with some jeans just to see if it gives. And if not, I can just return them. It's better to get them than to feel like, damn, I should have gotten them. I got this jacket that I saw. I don't know who it was, to be honest. I was just scrolling through TikTok or Instagram and I saw somebody wearing this jacket and I was like, yep, I'm getting it. It's probably not gonna look cute like this either, but I'm planning on wearing it with a black tank top, black leggings, sneakers, hair and makeup cute. Yeah, it doesn't look cute on, but I promise you, Especially the way I saw it worn. It, it was really cute for a casual layered look. These are not for my trip, I don't think. Maybe for a night out or something I'll take them, but I saw these shorts and I had to have them. Zara Denim, at first I was not a fan. Like I would try some of their stuff and I was just like, what is the hype? The pants just wouldn't fit me right. I just didn't like them, but lately their denim has been doing it for me. I think I'm just finally finding the stuff that looks good on me. Highly recommend trying different denim in store before committing uh, because their sizing and stuff can be off. You might have to get some stuff altered or tailored. So anyway, I got these black shorts and I like them because they're super distressed and they're just kind of worn in looking and I don't have a pair of black shorts. Summertime is coming and sometimes for a night out with some black heels like this. An all black outfit, kind of sexy. So that's what I got those for. That's everything from Zara. We are almost at the finish line before we get to packing. Nordstrom, I got just leggings, just plain old black leggings from the Nordstrom brand. Just has a thick band, nothing fancy here. But believe it or not, I do not have a pair of leggings like this. Plain black long sleeve shirt. This one is cute, simple, not a scoop neck. That you can see this neck goes all the way to the top, but still a good basic to have to mix and match with a lot of stuff. And I like that these are light. It kind of gives me Skims vibes, I can't even lie. But these are from the Nordstrom or BP? BP. BP line at Nordstrom. Their stuff, their basics are good. Um, and then I got it in gray. Uh, I had the one in white, but the white one's really see-through. So just be mindful of that. But gray and black is what I got this time around. Uh, they do have Skims at Nordstrom, if you guys didn't know. So I got these. These are not the original shorts. The fabric of this is not ribbed it's more of a very 
thin cotton lightweight fabric it's not again like i said ribbed so these ones i got in an extra small um probably to lounge around the house in or even out and about to be honest because i'm that type of girl they do also have naked wardrobe at nordstrom if you did not know they have select styles but they do have a lot of naked wardrobe stuff if you haven't tried stuff from naked wardrobe their stuff's good like good quality basics all the way around they have leggings they have tank tops they have sets they have rompers they have bodysuits everything everything you can think of in the essential colors black gray white cream beige like please they have everything so they carry some stuff at nordstrom and i got one of my go-to bodysuits from them it's just a black thong bodysuit i got it an extra small because the one i have is small and it sometimes slips extra small is going to keep things nice and tight so this right here gosh i wear this tank through and through with jeans with skirts with leggings with flowy pants um love their tank tops should have gotten in white as well but i didn't got some tory birch sandals i have my black ones but i wanted to get some in nude i was between nude and more of the tan like this color but i ended up going for nude uh i think they're cute y'all i didn't realize these sandals were like 200 dollars they're cute but like the ones i got i could have swear they were like 100 bucks but they're the thinner one that's probably why but yeah they're just nothing crazy plain nude tory birch these are a lot more comfortable than the black ones when i first got my black ones i knew like the next pair of sandals i get from tory birch are gonna be the ones with the bigger logo because the ones with the thin logo that are the slippery shiny no this is oh these are not these are for my trip i'll probably take them but they're not so i might do the crocs i might do these but i finally found these in my size they've been sold out everywhere and they are the ugg tasman yes i found them in store the place i went to so i went to the arcadia westfield mall and they have a store called feet world they had them in stock in my size they had them in a size eight and they had them in a size seven so i'm sure they have a lot of sizes at that store if you've been looking for these freaking shoes there's no lie these are sold out everywhere every everywhere i know spring is around the corner but listen one thing about me is i'm gonna wear some uggs like it doesn't even matter where i can be going downstairs to get the mail i'm wearing uggs and these are cute these are even good slippers just to have in the house but i just love these slides i have um i bought some uh dupes but th they just don't hit the same as these so i'm finally i'm glad i finally have these in my hands again but that is everything i purchased for this trip and just to add to my closet in general about to show y'all the mess that i just made in this place just to show you guys what I bought. <laughs> so now I'm gonna clean all this stuff up. Gonna take this makeup off. Gonna bake me some cookies and slowly start putting these outfits together. Maybe we'll do that. to show you this that's also a good travel essential this is to hold your phone however uh, like you know when you're trying to watch a show 
or do things on your phone in general, not even on a plane, just in general. And you don't have something to lean it on and you just have to lay it flat on the table. This little contraption here, first of all, it bends. So it's small, compact. You put your phone right here. This you pull apart and it creates this gap so you can stick it onto a desk. Let me try to show you. I'm putting it on my counter so you can see. And you put your phone right here. You can rotate it however you want to be looking at your phone. And all you do is clamp it onto any desktop. And it's small and compact. And I like the fact that you're able to adjust it. This is just a good, nice to have in general, but especially, oop, if you watch stuff on your phone a lot, record stuff on your phone, or if you travel a lot. Thank you.